Hey, Carl Schilling here with you again today, and we're going to start on Module 5. Before I get started, I always like to tell maybe a little story when we get going. As uh, some of you might know, I was heavily involved in uh, uh, sports for many, many years. You know, I coached at uh, I coached several different sports, mainly baseball, because I played baseball myself professionally, and I was involved in baseball for many, many years. One of the reasons I ended up in the life insurance industry was because uh, I wanted to have the time to coach baseball. And, and, and that took me to, uh, uh, through many different cycles of coaching. But one of the things that we had come up with over the years, and I like to still share it with uh, people on business teams because I think it's so important, um, the beaver. The beaver is commonly referred to as the most diligent worker in the animal kingdom. You know, the little engineers, I mean, they, they just basically, once they start a project, nothing stops these little guys, okay? So we always had, um, you know, our uh, little beaver, and what we used to do was, uh, you know, um, the baseball is a great game of failure. It's really predominantly driven, and, ba and business and baseball, they really correlate very, very well, business, especially the, the industry we're in, helping people and going through people to find the people we can help. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of failure involved in that. I mean, if you're three out of 10, you know, you're doing great. So it's the same in baseball. Um, so anyway, we had the beaver and the beaver would go to the player who uh, distinguished themselves for the entire week, you know, through everything, through practice, game, uh, game commitment, everything going on at the, the uh, classroom, whatever, they'd get the beaver for the week, okay? Uh, and they would have it for the week. they keep it in their locker. they bring it with them, whatever happens. So we had uh, I am, I can, I will, I do. I am, I can, I will, I do. And that's our uh, little beaver. And um, you'll see it in all my videos. You see it in everything I do because I believe um, that the, uh, the beaver is, uh, once again, a wonderful emblem, a wonderful symbol for being a diligently hard worker, okay? And nothing can uh, outdo hard work. So uh, today we're going to get into Module 5. Module 5 is going to be about um, uh, basically our... Um, uh, module five is going to be about our our business verticals. You know, we talked about um, being a uh, specialist and an authority, and then the business verticals that one can focus on and work in. So, um, let me get the screen share going here, and we'll bring up module five. Um, here we go. Okay, so we have covered uh, we have covered uh, four modules so far, and in those four modules. We have covered basically, um, you know, our mission statement, right? Uh, again, we, you know, we should always know this. Our, we're focused on the elimination of all forms of financial victimization, and, and how do we do it? We create awareness, we provide financial literacy education, and we help people attain financial independence. That's what we do. And you are the core of that. You are the financial concierge who delivers our entire platform to help people attain that financial independence, okay? We got our promise, um, and again, all of our financial concierges need to come with the same open mind, coachable, committed, and persistent attitudes, and we talked about the message. Uh, module two, we talked about the three golden rules, right? Um, and that's very important that you're sharing this with people, but again, financial transformation does that for you. That's the reason they have the course. We talked about the, um, uh, the three stages <coughs> the three stages of you. Um, again, that's something very unique that uh, most people in our industry, they don't mention these things to people. People hear this, they start to say, they start to have an aha moment, okay? Um, so that was uh, module three. And then module four, we talked about our professional levels. Excuse me, just had to get a little water. And those professional levels were generalist, specialist, authority, and the fourth uh, is obviously celebrity, right? So we covered that. And um, now in Module 5, we are getting ready to cover the specialist verticals. These are the business verticals that you can select to work in, and, and we help you through every one of these stages. But you need to pick one vertical. Again, it's about being, if you're going to be a specialist, it's about niche marketing. It's about niching a, 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 
group of people that you can work with that you understand and who understand what you do for them, okay? So um, we, these three verticals look like this. We've got the individual family market, which is kind of common. Almost everybody who starts in the life insurance industry seems to start off in the individual family market. Years ago, years ago, when I uh, went out and uh, I, I took LUTC, and, and <clears throat> the way I got involved in the business market was through my LUTC. I, I went through a, a course in LUTC and learned everything I needed to know about the business market. And that's how I, I transitioned from the family market to the business market. And so my, uh, my uh, scheduling uh, far less nighttime uh, activity and more day activity, plus uh, bigger cases, okay, and, and sold much larger cases. Now, <clears throat> the business market is one of them, and then we've got the senior market. In the senior market, there's too many people floating around who are trying to be all things to all people and end up being nothing to no one, and the senior market is indicative of this. Everybody and his mother seems they want to jump in the senior market and do it part-time, you know, a little here, a little there. The problem is these people are totally uh, abused and misrepresented because of people who don't specialize in the senior market. And it takes a great deal of specialty in that marketplace, okay? So you can't afford to be in all those markets, all right? So now um, – uh, we'll save this for, you know, module six where we go strictly into the, uh, into that. But, uh, you know, let's go back and make sure we understand the three uh, uh, specialist verticals, okay? So you've got the individual family market, which basically uh, has our middle class millionaire plan. And that's how we are able to show people in that market how to earn more income and by earning more income, create their own infinite banking plan, turn it into large case, uh, large case creation for you the, um, you, the financial concierge. So that's the individual market, okay? The business market will show you when we break it down and you look at it, we're going to show you uh, three different things you can do inside the business market. And again, maybe you focus on one of them. And then, of course, in the senior market, we're not going to spend too much time on that. The senior market is fairly uh, well um, defined. I mean, the senior market has a lot to do with Social Security. It has a lot to do with Medicare, you know, the senior health market, um, everything to do with, uh, with uh, possibly also focusing on people to help them distribute their money. Okay, so there's a lot going on in the senior market. If you're going to work with people in that marketplace, you're going to work with people 65 and older. You're not going to work with people. if you On the way to 65, it's not going to be considered the senior market, okay? It's going to either be the individual family market or it's going to be the business market on the way to 65. But the senior market's not going to really um, be focused until 65. And, yes, there's over 10,000 of those people every single day turning 65, and that's going to happen until I think they project the year 20. 23 or 24, so that's another five years of 10,000 people a day. So yes, it's a growing marketplace, okay? Um, that is basically what, we, uh, what we're going to cover on Module 5, and I want people to, um, uh, I, I would like everybody to understand, um, I'd like everybody to understand and stay within the, uh, the general concept that you are going to be a specialist, okay, uh, as a financial concierge, and you're going to need to define and pick your, 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 your specialty, let's put it that way, okay? Um, you know, uh, uh, cardiologists uh, don't work uh, in the gastrointestinal uh, field, okay? They don't cross over, and uh, so, so a specialist is a specialist, so they talk to people about cardiological issues, okay? They don't don't talk to people about neurological issues, and they don't talk to people about gastrointestinal issues. They uh, focus on the heart and what's going on on that cardiology, you know, that, that functioning system. So that's where they're a specialist. It's no different than what we do. You're a financial concierge. You're a specialist, okay? So if you're working in the individual family market, you're helping those people achieve financial independence by showing them specific things and, and tools and solutions to become financially independent. If you're working in the business market, there are other things going on in the business market. So you are fu functionally, you know, you're working on how life insurance solutions, uh, you know, split dollar, 
uh, qualified pension planning, um, uh, key man insurance, uh, buy and sell uh, agreements, arrangements, um, all kinds of uh, functional things that have to do with business. But where does the infinite banking plan come in in that? And, and FES still comes into that because we've got business owners who have credit problems. So we have tools for getting uh, business owners who are seeking capital. We have tools that you can use the door opener to uh, get them capital. Now, when you do that, you find that they don't qualify because most of it requires a 700 credit score. You can transition right into FES, and then you can transition right into an infinite banking plan for them as well. So the middle class millionaire plan also focuses into business. Okay, so it's not just um, standalone, <clears throat> you know, standalone uh, family and individual market. Um, the senior market's a little different, of course, and uh, the senior market's going to require that you have a good grasp on how people should be developing and building their income streams. Uh, what we talk about tax-free income and all these things, we are basically talking about people having, um, uh, that's where retireless, the retireless selling system, which we'll get into, you know, some modules down the road. But in retireless, we're showing people how possibly um, uh, the concept of qualified money 401k money, IRA money, these kind of things, this kind of income could actually damage them because, um, you know, ordinary income is done by means testing. So social security is a means tested um, scenario, plus your part B insurance premium on Medicare uh, is also a means tested income scenario. So people could end up turning Social Security into taxable income by having too much ordinary income, which is exactly what's coming out of 401ks and, and uh, IRAs and any form of qualified money dis uh, being distributed as income is always ordinary income, okay? Uh, and that ordinary income could impact uh, very dramatically taxable Social Security and then at the same time causing uh, a ripple effect and, and having a much increased Part B. In some cases, the Part B... Uh, premiums could go up as much as $8,000, okay? So it's pretty heavy. Uh, so uh, uh, the, the idea is to get tax-free income, obviously. You know, the income coming out of life insurance is not means-tested. It's tax-free. So again, uh, that retireless conversation uh, does cross over into the senior market, okay? And, and so in working the senior market, there are ways uh, to um, uh, functionally uh, – make changes for people, okay? But certainly on the 60, the 58, 60, 63, on that road upwards, you certainly want to help people, and that's what retireless will do, okay? So, uh, again, I want to thank you so much. That's module five. Uh, I know it's not much, but it, it, again, we want to specify that being a specialist requires that you also pick a business vertical. That business vertical, it doesn't mean if you are a specialist, and you try to do it in three business verticals, you're now a generalist. You turned yourself right out of the road, you spun right around, you became a generalist. So if you're helping individual families and you're helping businesses and you're helping seniors, you are not a specialist. You are a generalist. Once again, all things to all people ends up being nothing to no one. Okay? Doesn't work. You will... You will dramatically diminish your income because you're not a specialist. So you're a financial concierge and as such you are a specialist. Our goal is to help you become an authority because that is going to rise your income dramatically so. So you become an authority. Now all of a sudden you're not looking at 100, 150, 200, 250 a year. You're looking at annually coming into that 500,000, half a million a year and up and building yourself into a seven-figure income, which you can do. We're always talking about that. You can build a seven-figure income. You're not going to do it overnight, and it's going to take work, and you have to study. You have to become more than you are. You have to have uh, personal um, uh, accountability, but you have to be improving every single day. You have to be learning, and that's what we do here at Financial Concierge University. We are giving you an incredible amount of educational tools, and we're not going to stop. We want you to get better every single day. I want you to be like the little beaver. 
diligent. What you do every single day, you should carve out an hour a day to read. Now, we also have uh, the Advocacy Book Corner where we go over some of the great books. Presently, we're doing uh, Napoleon Hill's Keys to Success, but we go over some of the greatest books. And all of you as a financial concierge, I'll send you, if you just ask me, I will send you a, a little um, flash drive that has, I think, a dozen, 12 of the greatest books I believe were ever written. I also have a, we have a list of my books, uh, my, uh, uh, you know, my reading list that I've done over the years and that I thought was important. There may be um, 50 to 100 books on that list that I think everybody should read, okay? Um, and nowadays, a lot of those books you can get um, on audio and listen to it in the car. So you don't even have to read it. But you should put aside an hour a day, okay? Somewhere during that day, you got 24 hours in a day. You know, eight of them you're going to sleep. That leaves 16 hours. You're going to sleep seven, maybe six to eight. So find yourself before you go to sleep, whatever. Find an hour. Find an hour to read, okay? Um, and read and, and get into some of these books. Some of these books are very short and small, and they, 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 they're not hard reads, okay? As a Man Thinketh is uh, in less than an hour, you read the whole book, okay, you, uh, by James Allen. You probably got to read that book numerous times, As a Man Thinketh. But uh, uh, Acres of Diamonds by uh, Russell Conwell, small little book, okay? Less than 30, 45 minutes to read the whole book. So uh, these are, uh, you know, there's a book by John Wanamaker, who was one of the great merchant, it's called the Merchant, uh, I believe it's the Merchant King, um, the Wanamaker family who uh, really, we owe department stores to Wanamaker. I mean, those are the people who created the, uh, the concept of, uh, of the department store. OK, uh, all these things are important for you to grow and be more than you are. OK, and that is that impenetrable value proposition because you have a great deal of knowledge to share. OK, if you're going to coach people and you're going to work and, and develop people, you need to know what you know. You need to have a strong uh, awareness and you need to be able to share with them things they don't know. And now, when people are unaware, they don't know they don't know. They have no idea they don't know. Now, you can't just like fire hose it at them. You have to bring it to them softly. That's why we created financial transformation. That's why the course is there. They can watch it. There's a small bite size. There's not a, any video in, in financial transformation. The longest video is nine minutes in financial transformation, the longest. Most of them are somewhere between three and a half to six minutes. That's across eight modules, eight lessons in each module. And we cover, in those modules, we cover some of the key concepts that people are totally unaware of. So, and you get compensated as an affiliate to put people into financial transformation. And when you put them into financial transformation, you just follow up to coach them and help them come out of financial transformation into financial independence. All right, uh, enough of that. That's module five. I will see you on the other side. We'll start with module six, and we start to break down what some of those um, verticals are in module six, okay? Have a wonderful day. Get out there, work hard, and, uh, and, and help people become financially independent.